What's up guys? Uh, hopefully a week hasn't been too long. I'm running around with my uh, new Espeon. My friend Sabrina bred me, or RNG abuse for me. It has an interesting hidden power, and it should be happy that it's alive, but it just gives me face plain and talks about choice specs because it hates me. Whatever. I don't care. You're green. You have a cool hidden power. I'm going to abuse you. Shut your face. Anyway, it's Shabazz here, and uh, I have an underused battle against King Daddy Mac today. Uh, this was for the Battle for Charity event, where he will be sitting in the stream at certain times and battling random people. I happen to be one of those random people, because you know I don't have the same level of e-fame as he does. So, he asked me what type of battle I was interested in. Oh, this is me playing with the colors, because I want to kill some time while I talk. He asked me what type of battle. I said underused. I'm getting tired of um, standard battles as of late. And now that Raikou and Frostlass are gone, I can actually enjoy them a little bit more and not have to rely on them as much. So we picked random Pokemon. Mine are a little bit of synergization going here. We almost had the same kind of synergy, with the exception of him having one more uh, normal poke than I had Steel. So here we go. I lead with Moltres. He leads with Sand Slash. He's going to go for Rocks. I go for the Fire Blast, knowing it can KO, but I miss because, you know, Fire Blast is uber reliable. And I go for a Hidden Power Grass, expecting something to come in to resist the Fire Blast, but he stays in, knowing I'm probably going to try Fire Blasting again. I don't know. So, but barely kills. He super fangs me in my neck, because, you know, Sand Slash has really long fangs and everything. And I finish it off with Hidden Power Grass. He pretty much knew Sand Slash was done, so there's no point in trying to keep it around. Could have been some useful death, death fodder, but it would have died to... Well, no, I didn't get rocks up, so never mind. Anyway, he brings out Clefable. I roost, knowing if I have to switch out, I won't die. But he's going to T-Wave me. It's kind of obvious. Clefable's all T-Wave. And I don't care at this point, because I know I have things to resist T-Wave. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to Fire Blast. I want to see how much it does. I was doing calcs, and it's going to do right around 60% range with a Life Orb Modest Nature. And unfortunately, it doesn't kill, which I knew because I did calcs, and I just mentioned that. And it soft boils up, knowing I'm paralyzed, abusing that. Um, I fire blast again, and wow, it misses the first turn, but doesn't miss after that. Good old reliable fire blast. And this time, this one does more. So I'm thinking maybe I can get a crit, try it three times, see what happens. Pressure stalls some soft boiled PP, whatever, you know. I benefit either way. Uh, I Fire Blast for my last time, and unfortunately, it's still not going to get the KO. So, I know he's going to soft boil again, thinking I'm trying to stall him out, but I'm really just trying to go for that crit in three turns. So I switch out to Torterra, knowing it can take a T-Wave, and hopefully scare him off and set up. Um, it's a Rock Polisher. I don't have Life Orb on it, because it was used in-game. So, before you start, you know, saying, Oh, you noob, you have leftovers. Watch the video and realize how beneficial it was for me. So he switches into Magmortar, expecting a Grass Attack, like a Wood Hammer or something, or Leech Seed or whatever, I don't know. But I Rock Polish up and, you know, bitch slap it in the face of an Earthquake. Cool beans. <laughs> uh, Magmortar's defense is non-existent, so that'll go down no problem. And, yeah, <laughs> this is pretty much where the Rampage begins. Uh... This is my main obstacle right here. Slowbro's 110 base defense and fatty HP will cause issues. I thought it was going to have an Ice Beam, because usually most things that can carry the Bolt Beam combo, uh, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, will carry it. So, you know, I was expecting that. I thought my sweep was going to end early. However, he used Psychic. I lived. Woodhammer. Yay me. So, once that was down, I really felt confident. And considering he has, what, three pokes down to my five. I felt really good. Out comes Miss Magius. Normally that'd be an issue, but it's too slow. I'm in overgrow range. Just would hammer it in the face. And we were chatting, and he said he didn't have anything for Torterra. And I don't die from the recoil, so that leftovers was crucial. So shut your faces. Um, out comes Zangoose. I'm going to outspeed. And unfortunately, Torterra doesn't get the full clean sweep, but it took out a large portion of his team enough to the point where there's nothing he can do. I'm going to switch in Miss Magius because I know it's going to resist everything uh, Clefable can throw at it, and that's game because he knows he can't beat me. Um, good game, DMAC. I want to hopefully battle you again when I get a chance, and uh, I finally got 50 subs, so thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep it up. Comment, rate, sub, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace out.